Houston here. And for those of you just finding my YouTube channel, welcome. Please remember to hit that subscribe button and that bell. And for those of you that's been following me and supporting me, salute. And for my favorite patrons, always double salute. Now, today's video, we're actually going to be talking about Connect Us, Connect Us Credit Union. Okay, now either I've been asleep on this one or not too many people are up on this here uh, credit union because I'm looking at the data points on this. This here credit union may be just as good as Navy Federal, okay? And I'm going to tell you why in a minute, especially with some of the products that they have and the scoring, the low scoring they're actually looking for in order to help you, all right? Now, let's talk about these internal scoring. I'm going to tell you all something, all right? More banks are going to this internal scoring. More banks and credit unions are going to this internal scoring. And I think this is going to, this internal scoring is going to be more, um, it's going to have more influence than your credit score down the line. All right. So let's look at in terms of what can possibly build an internal score with Connectus internal score. OK, um, you check. They check check systems. That's for one. They do a soft pull on your TransUnion to join. OK, um, now the way you join, you're going to pay you five dollars to for a savings account. All right. Now. Here's how to build up the internal score. So this is going to help you. Uh, if you're able to do a direct deposit, awesome. If not, hey, there's other options. Uh, doing some type of a loan, secured loan with them. Um, also, they offer high yield checking accounts. So this is something that I really want you all to pay attention to because there's two different types of checking accounts that connect us offer. There is a regular one and then there's the high yield. And so the high yield is no monthly fees, no minimum deposit uh, requirements, no balance requirements. Okay. Um, you can also, they offer money market accounts, savings accounts, and CDs. All right. So if you don't have a, a loan history with them, that's some things that you can actually do. Um, that's some things that you can actually do to uh, help help you. Now, utilization on your credit cards, no insufficient funds in the account, on-time payments and credit card. These are some of the same data points as Navy Federal, but this bank here, like I said, I think they got Navy Federal and it just haven't been popularized yet, but I think they're gonna bypass Navy Federal, okay? Now, Let's look at, I talk, made a video about the best uh, business credit card that are better than Navy Federal. And this is one of those cards, Connectus. And the reason is, again, talking about how to join with $5 donation to the Connectus Association. Um, business credit score starting at about a 630 up to a 719. Uh, no annual fee on the business credit card. That's another thing about this here is because... They are like a uh, Navy Federal. They're offering not only regular accounts, but they're offering business accounts as well. Okay, and then you can see that the, it doesn't take a lot of high scoring in order to get one of their business uh, credit cards. Okay, now here's the thing about it I want you all to understand. Like when you're trying to go for their loans, they're going to pull TransUnion. They use uh, Ex Experian 8 for the credit cards and then Experian a TransUnion on the loans, all right? Now the credit cards are issued through Elon Financial and that's very important. And the reason it's important is because Elon Financial issues out a lot of different uh, credit card and bank cards and stuff like that. Now, if you just wanted to go directly to get a, a business uh, credit card or or for, for the Connectus card or the Connectus business card or the Connectus regular card, if you just want to go, you can go through Elon Financial, okay? But one of the tips that I've learned that you would have to have a VPN. So in terms of 
making sure that the data that they're offering uh, mean that you went putting in the application in that state. So that's the reason you would use a VPN. Okay. Now that being said, this business credit card that they offer 20 billing cycles on purchases and balance transfers. Okay. So no interest that's on 20 billing cycles. So that's very important. Now I want you to stick with me because I'm going to start proving to you why this here bank excuse me, why this credit union is more important than Navy Federal. Okay, and for those of you that ever did business uh, with Connectus, put a comment below. Let me know what do you think if I'm right. Now, they have a credit card, $75,000, okay? Now, their credit scores for their credit card start at a 530 at a 530. So like uh, Navy Federal, like I have the video for the uh, late night hack with a uh, Navy Federal and getting 530 credit score, getting a, a $25,000 credit card and stuff like that. Their credit cards, they have credit cards that go up to 75000 Okay. And the same thing on the credit cards is uh, Elon Financial. So just keep that in mind. Now, here's the thing about it. This platinum card, it's 24 months. Navy Federal's platinum card is only no interest, no balance, no per for purchases and balance transfer is only 12 months. Theirs is 24 months. Okay. So on the business credit cards, no interest uh, on purchases and ba balance transfers on the connectors is 20 months. On the personal side, 24 months on the platinum card. Okay. Now, here's another one. They have uh, secured cards, right? Now, they offer secured cards, but they have two types of secured cards. They have one secured card that offers rewards, and then they have a regular secured card as well. Now, here's the thing. How do you get two trade lines out of this secured card with Connectus? If you're an individual that's paying rent, okay, uh, if you're an individual that's paying rent and everything, then and you're paying with cash and money order, like in the other video, I tell you to stop doing that. What you want to do, you want to sign up for a company like Plastic, P L A S T I Q dot com, Plastic dot com. Take your secured card. Say that you're paying five hundred, six hundred, a thousand dollars a month. You're sharing rent with somebody, right? Instead of giving them the money order or instead of giving them the cash, what you want to do is put that money on this secured card, right? Because this secured card is reporting to the credit bureaus every month. Then I would sign up with plastic and then I would have plastic to send the check over, right? So then now you can sign up with uh, one of those rent reporters. They have a rental, what is it called? A... Uh, rental boom uh you have um it's a couple of them i have a video that that talks about the different rental places and stuff but what you want to do you want to sign up with those rental places okay signing up with those rental places so they can report as a trade line plus you're using this secured card and it's reporting as a, a trade line too so that's how like most people don't understand how you get multiple uh, primary trade lines out of one account, especially if you're paying rent or you're paying other bills and stuff. This is definitely how you would do it. Okay. That being said, let's talk about the personal loans. Their interest rates are lower than Navy Federal. Okay. Their interest rates are lower than Navy Federal. Now, again, they pull the TransUnion for the loans. TransUnion FICO 8. Now, if you don't know what your FICO 8 score is, uh, you can click the link below in the description and get your FICO uh, scoring, okay? Because it's going to give you your FICO 8, your FICO 9, your FICO 2, your FICO 5, and the, the newest one, the FICO 10. And that's very important because the FICO 10 is supposedly almost like a real-time credit reporting, right? That's giving you a credit score real-time. Now, that being said, again, you sh really should know your FICO score. So click the link in the description and get your real FICO score. And if you want me to go over it, then you schedule a 30-minute consultation and we'll talk about it. And I'll show you how to use your F 
FICO to leverage to be able to get more funding, okay? Now, again, talking about this Connect Us Credit Union personal loan, the interest rates lower than per, uh, Navy Federal, okay? Um, in terms of how to get it, most of these loans, their maximum is up to 50000 okay? But one of the cool parts about this, again, is that they're looking at if you're having problems trying to get a consolidated loan to pay down credit cards and stuff like that, we can help you, okay? So that may, the scoring system that they have, uh, if you have multiple accounts with them, you may can get a, a personal loan for less than, with less than a 600 credit score, okay? Just like Navy Federal. So they're, they're really trying to help you. Just like Navy Federal is trying to help you, Connect Us is really trying to help you. That's on the personal loan side, all right? Then they have their personal lines of credit. Now, one thing I didn't state or I didn't show in here, when they do a hard pull for their personal loan, all right, uh, here's the thing about it. They do the hard pull on the personal loan. I was trying to figure out, well, you may can use that same inquiry to get a line of credit as well, okay? But you couldn't use that inquiry, since it's transgenic, you couldn't use could not use that inquiry to get a credit card, okay? So if you're going to uh, deal with them, if anybody ever dealt, dealt with them in the past and you think that, uh, or have you ever used uh, one inquiry with Connectus to get multiple accounts, put a comment in the comment section. Now, back to the personal lines of credit. All right, so they have two different types of personal lines of credit. They have a line of credit from three thousand to fifteen thousand. Then that's the flex line, and then the flex plus goes from five thousand to twenty five thousand. Okay, so they have two different types of lines of credit as well. Now, if you have a high DTI, because again, with most credit unions, most banks. If your DTI is above 55%, they may not be able to approve you. So you may have to look at lenders like Upstart Personal Loan, where the DTI is between 70 75%. Okay, and you can borrow from 1000 up to 50000 And with Upstart, again, they pull in FICO 9 plus, you'll know exactly how much you qualify for. Okay, and it won't be a hard inquiry unless you actually accept the loan. All right, but they focus more on how long you've been on your job, how much is your income, um, what's your education level. That's those are the things that they really focus on. Now, the minimum gross income for uh, Upstart is twelve thousand. Okay, and they operate in all fifty states. Now. Here's the thing about it. Uh, credit loans also does the same thing. Now, again, if you're trying to go with Connect Us, um, there have been people that said that they couldn't get credit loans, but they had success, success with Connect Us. So there was other people that tried to get uh, loans with, um, with um, other lenders and stuff, and they told them no, but Connect Us Credit Union actually gave them a loan. So, hey, and they had like a lot of inquiries and stuff like that. So it may be an opportunity to see if they're able to help you. Now, with the credit loans, they don't have a minimum credit score. Their loans go from 250 up to 40,000 active bank account, but they have a 90% chance of approval. Now, they're not available in New York and Connecticut, but if you have bad credit, their loans go up to 5,000. No, if you don't have a credit score or you rebuilding your credit and, credit and stuff like that, you also may want to check out Patel. They have the Patel 1 and the Patel 2 cards. And the Patel 1 goes from 300 up to 5,000 and the Patel 2 goes from 300 up to 10,000. Again, not focusing on the credit score. They're focusing on your cash flow. What's your education level like? How long you been at the job? How long you been at your address? 
these are why I tell people, if you're going to start building up your credit, I would encourage you to use FICO 9. So that way you can add trade lines like an authorized user, like you can add your rent history, you can add utilities, your uh, monthly subscriptions and stuff to help build up your FICO 9 and to get as many accounts as you can on your FICO 9, continue paying them, get as large amounts of money as you can on your FICO 9, then switch over to using your FICO 8. So that's how I would leverage it. Now, if you have any other questions about personal credit funding, business credit funding, click the link in the description and schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Thank you.